hi guys welcome back to my channel um as you guys know i like doing tarot readings and i've just put up to go live on saturday my june tarot reading and um because i've started getting back into tarot um i thought it would be a good idea to try and find something on the internet to um, help me learn about what tarot's are and how they're supposed to help you. Now, I have been, as I told you guys, watching the um, Gem Goddess and the um, Star Girl, the Practical Witch. Um, so I have been watching them. And they are really good YouTubers. So if you want to learn more about tarot, you can go and see them as well. But I went on to a... Uh, website I think it's biddies or buddies I'll put the name in the description um, box or on the link down here somewhere and um, they've they've written down a few things or put on blog post a few things about um, tarot cards and they're even given the description and the meanings of each and every individual tarot card and uh, maybe I will do a little bit of a segment of that whether you'd like to see more of that I don't know um, so to start off with um, I'm just learning the basics and it says here learn the tarot basics um, learn how to read uh, tarots so um, they say what is tarots and tarots is a deck of 78 cards each which is own imagination symbolism and story the 22 major arcade cards represents life karmic and spiritual lessons and the 56 minor archaic cards um, reflect the trials and tribulations that uh, we experience on a daily basis so if you've ever seen me read my tarot cards and as you know I'm learning because we're doing this together we are doing this together I hope we're doing this together um, as I read my cards through the gem goddess and the star girl the practical witch um, I've learned little tips bits along the way sort of like I know the swords um the sword suit is the quickest to manifest something into your life um I now know through my cards uh which suit whether it be um swords um wands cups pentacles cups and pentacles um I'm now starting to know by the colors of the cards which element they are in so swords is um air uh wands is fire um i think coins is earth so cups must be water. The tarot cards is a story book of our lives the mirror to our souls and the key to our inner wisdom which i can see what they're saying there they're reflecting it on our lives they're reflecting it on if i pull a card out today it will resonate with me it will resonate with me and uh that's that's something that i do um, who's doing this on um biddies or buddies i'm sorry if i'm butchering the name um clearly know their stuff um and I've looked through a few tarot bloggers and this one is helping me so, so much with learning tarots. I mean, thinking of it as a storybook on our lives. I like that saying. I like that saying. It's a storybook of our lives. So it says, um, when we consult the tarots, we get shown the exact lessons that we need to learn and master to live in 
spirited life. It's likely holding up a mirror to yourself so that you can access your subconscious mind and tap into the wisdom, the answer that life in us all. So yeah, um, again, I get what they're saying, you know. Um, it says here, it, uh, tarot is perfect for self-development, making, coaching others, planning a business, uh, meditating, you name it, simply ask. When I was watching the, um, the Gem Goddess the other day, um she's she was saying don't get into the trap of um of asking the same question because she said your spirit guides or any spirits around you um will just keep picking out the same card or similar cards to ask uh to answer the same questions that you've been answering with the same answers and sometimes it gets a little bit repetitive. So they do say um, don't use the tarot cards every single day. However, you can pull one card out a day to get yourself well known with your um, cards. Because as you know, I've got an animal spirit deck that I love and an old, old original tarot cards. And I would like more oracle cards and stuff like that and with crystals, as you know. So, like I said, I am learning this stuff. I hope you are. I hope this is learning something with you. So, um, this is the bit I wanted to get into. How does the tarot work? Well, many people believe that tarots will tell you the future. Making predictions are not really what tarot cards are about now this is what i've been trying to tell people because people get really really scared about tarots um and i don't find it scary i enjoy tarots there's nothing to be scared about tarots um i know a lot of people are scared about the death card there is nothing wrong with the death card it it just means change your life is about to change maybe for the good maybe for the bad we don't know it just means it's going to change your life might change it's not a prediction and you have the power to turn around and adapt your life basically you say which path you want to go down if you want a better job career you're going to find a better job career if you're unhappy in your um, relationship, you find another relationship. If you're happy in your relationship, you stay with your relationship. If you're unhappy in your hometown, you move. If you're not happy, you stay. I mean, you choose the path. The um, tarot cards are just giving that little, little, or maybe if you, if you do this, or maybe this person might not be right for you, or maybe... This person really likes you, go for it. You know, that's what tarot cards are about. They're not about to say, oh, in six months' time, you're going to um, have a baby, have 2.4 kids and then pick a fence outside. You know, life doesn't work like that. Life is a learning curve. Life is a journey. So um, tarot cards, which is what I've always said, is not a prediction. Oh, hello, pigeon. You want to learn about tarot cards? We've got a pigeon outside. Um, let me just show you. Stop the pigeon. <laughs> oh, what did you mean? That freaked me out then. I thought someone was watching me. <laughs> oh yes, and I'm back in the van. As you can tell. <laughs> I've got nowhere to film. Right, there's some other bits here that um on this vlog. Um, when it comes to tarot fortunes telling um, the powerful way to read the tarots is to use the cards to access your intuition and your inner mind the image in the cards gives you in you instant access to your subconscious mind and your intuition and from this the place of inner power and wisdom 
you can discover how to make positive changes now so you can manifest your goals and your dreams in the future. So then it goes on about um, how to learn tower cards and I think there's about four, four ways of how to learn um, tower cards. So the first one is choose a tarot card deck that's right for you. The ride, weight and everyday tarot card uh, deck are a great place to start for a tarot beginner. Well, when I started liking tarots when I was in my teen years, I just picked up. I didn't even think about thinking about, is this the right tarot deck for me? Is this not the right tarot deck for me? What is this? Is this resonating with me? When I was 14, 15, I didn't think that. I just picked up tarot deck because I liked tarots. Um, when I picked up the spirit deck, I was watching a YouTuber and how she used her spirit deck and how she sort of like... Um, told the story of what's going on with her through pulling one card of her deck or basically um, getting her followers to manifest things through the camera to her so that she could pull out a card that was um, resonating with all of us. So um, yeah, um, choose your cards. So when I, when I wanted to get back into Oh, excuse me. When I wanted to get back into tarot readings, um, I wanted the animal spirit deck, and because I couldn't go to a shop and get said tarot deck, unfortunately, I had to go online and try and find the tarot deck. Um, but uh, when when it came to me, um, and I was shuffling the cards, I was putting all my energy into that those cards. And I love those cards now. I love those cards. And even my original cards, um, mind you, they have got sort of like, sort of like earlier years on as well, which I didn't know what I was doing. I'm now learning how to do stuff now. So yeah, choose your tarot deck wisely because they are going to be with you for a long time. Right, the second one is kickstart your tarot education with the tarot 101 course. Signed for um, tarot beginners, this 10 part video tutorial session will teach you how to quickly and intuitively read the cards, tarot cards, no pro knowledge required. So like the gem goddess with me on YouTube the other day, she says, try and use your intuition about what the card is trying to tell you. Try and read the story in the card. So me personally, myself, I'm trying to do that, but then I'm using the book to educate myself as well. Um, as for the course, you can go on courses, um, but I cannot do the courses because financially I'm not there yet I'd love to do the courses but I'm not there so I'm learning from YouTube like the gem goddess um, star girl the practical witch you know I'm learning from them I'm learning from people who have learnt some of this stuff and still learning internet um, blogger thing I got from um, I think it was Lavender's YouTube channel. And Lavender was saying she was getting into tarot readings and she came across this on the internet as well. I'm reading up on the Fool card at the moment and um, yeah, I'll, I think I'll go into that in another in another um, uh, film because it's quite long-winded about all the cards. So yeah, I will do um, a series of tarot card readings and stuff like that. I think a series will be quite good of that. If you, if you like tarot cards, please pop along because not every day and not every week will be um, learning about tarots because I am an everyday woman here. I work, so um, and you don't need no prior knowledge 
to learn tarot cards. Like it says, you know, um, someone the other day said they want me to do their tarot reading. I said, well, I'm not professional. Um, and they were giving me a few tidbits. And when that, when I found out their um, zodiac sign, their astrological sign, I said to them, are you a bit fiery? Do you kick off quite a lot in an argument? Uh, do you find your partner, when she gave me her partner's um, star sign, okay, do you find your partner calms you down an awful lot when you feel like fiery rage? And she went, actually, yeah. And that was just through me knowing a little bit, not all, just a tiny little bit of astrological signs. Next one we're going into is the third. Find deeper to learning the uh, tarot card meanings. Discover the traditional meanings, symbols and the numerological and element associated of the cards. You don't have to memorize everything, simply learn the basics to get you started, which is what I have been doing. I've learned the uh, earth and because my sister is a Taurus um, I've learned the earth is something like um, you've got the Taurus uh, I've got a green background on my card so that uh, the green is the element of earth so when I'm reading my cards now I know that element is earth you know so I know that the swords is my astrological um, sign which is Aquarius um, and I know the swords uh, um, are fast in manifesting things I know some suits are not as fast as manifesting you have to learn you have to transition um, I also know because I've been watching I've been reading up that you remember me talking about the fool, fool's card um, there's a little white dog in the fool's card and that means loyalty. And there was hills in the background, meaning you're still on that journey of obstacles that you have to face. So it's little things like that. Um, and then the fourth one is, uh, draw a tarot card out a day, ask your higher self, what, to, what do I need to know today as you go through your day? Reflect on what the card means to you and create a personal and intuition connection with the card, which I do do. Um, whenever I read um, a card, sometimes it doesn't always, I don't always get it um, first time. I'm thinking, what the bloody hell is this reading trying to tell me, you know, but then Later on in a couple of weeks, hello pigeon, pigeon's back again, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, later on in the week or the month or something like that, um, the, um, the tarot reading that I once read is now starting to resonate, it's now starting to come into play, so to speak, and I'm thinking, so what was that card trying to tell me? How do I combat this um, obstacle in my life how do I treat this what was this card telling me to do in the past to bring me into the future of my tarot reading so yeah um, so some of this I already knew um, but I mean um, I'll go on to um, the major archaic and um, card readings in another film but I think from now on I'm gonna leave the um, vlog here um, I hope this was intuitive I hope this was informational I'm sorry if it was a bit bitty and all over the place um, but I hope you've learned something from it and if you enjoy this film um, please give me a like because um, that tell me what content you'd like to see from me um, hit the notification bell on all and then you'll know when I'm uploaded I should upload every Saturday if I don't it's because I'm a busy lady I am a busy lady and I work um, for a company um, 
and hit that subscribe button um, so that uh, I can get notified um, and so that'll help my channel move forward because that's what I would like. I would like to move my fan channel channel <laughs> channel forward um, so that I can um, help more people out. 